President Trump called his COVID-19 infection, meantime, a blessing from God as he returned to the Oval Office on Wednesday, despite concerns that he should be self-isolating. The president tested positive for COVID-19 last week, still undergoing treatment, too. CBS 4's Anna Warnicki is in Washington right now with Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Well, so far, at least a dozen White House staff have tested positive for the virus and extra caution is being put into place for staff that's continuously tested negative, including Vice President Mike Pence. And we really saw that last night at the debate when a plexiglass barrier was installed to separate the two candidates. Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris took the stage Wednesday night, immediately sparring over the Trump administration's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. President Donald Trump has put the health of America first. Whatever the vice president is claiming the administration has done, clearly it hasn't worked. Pence, who leads the president's coronavirus task force, defended the administration's decision to hold a Rose Garden event, where 12 attendees, including the president, have since tested positive for the virus. The reality is the work of the president of the United States goes on. Meanwhile, back at the White House, President Trump took to Twitter to congratulate his running mate. Perhaps you recognize me. It's your favorite president. And I'm standing in front of the Oval Office at the White House. The president, who tested positive for COVID-19 last week, returned to the Oval Office on Wednesday. White House Press Secretary Brian Morgenstern says the president is being careful and following CDC guidelines. The White House and the West Wing are deep cleaned on a regular basis, so there's a way for him to work out of uh, a variety of rooms. White House physician Dr. Sean Conley said Wednesday that the president has remained fever free for four days and his physical exam and vital signs remain stable. The decision to return to the Oval Office drew a lot of criticism, mainly over concerns that the president could infect others. Well, the White House is defending that decision, saying that the move was safe and anyone interacting with the president is wearing full PPE and following social distancing measures. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.